It's a new departure in my life. I've been chief conductor of various organizations in the past 17 years in Los Angeles. When Alan proposed this uh, composing residence thing a few years ago, I thought this is pretty perfect. Alan Gilbert is going to conduct most of my works and I have such great admiration for him. The New York Philharmonic is one of the very few orchestras in the world where I feel that I can really uh, ask for almost impossible things and they still deliver. They play contemporary music with the same kind of conviction and, and abandon as they would play Brahms or Beethoven or Bruckner or whatever. It's a very seminal piece. It, it kind of ties together the two sides of my personality. I had been long enough in LA to feel free of the European modernist canon. I was no longer afraid of Pierre Boulez. I just felt, okay, I now I really have to sit down and start composing. Finally, I realized that I have to write music that I would like to perform. The first performance of this piece was in Zurich, and I, I started to think about the cultural history of Zurich, and I realized that, of course, this is the place where Dada was born. Then I remembered that Hugo Ball, who was maybe the father of Dada, had written this poem Caravana early on. You can read it in, in many different ways. It can be like a almost like an onomatopoetic description of a caravan, like a circus, endlessly going around a mountain, stopping, giving a performance, going to the next place. I thought that I'd want to find material where I can use the words as phonetic material without the worrying about the syntax and the, and the, the meaning of it. Or I can create my own meaning. Messiaen is really unique, and if you listen to his music, it doesn't follow any laws of established laws of composition. It's more like statement, other statement, yet another statement. And I cannot really think of anyone else who would use quite these sort of principles. So you, you hear one measure of Messiaen, and you, you know it's by him. What attracts me to this massive composition is the sort of outrageous, limitless, uh, free nature of it. He goes from a kind of outrageously uh, sickly sweet expression to really austere constructivist expression in, within one 75 minute span and um, and that makes it endlessly fascinating. I'm very excited to be involved in the planning of the next biennial and I think it's a fantastic concept that that so many different organizations and groups and ideas come together to be able to play new music in, in smaller venues away from the sort of establishment. Today the musical scene in New York led by the Philharmonic, seems very vibrant and, and, and open-minded. I'm very lucky in the sense that, that uh, I'm able to work with this organization, during which later in history will be called one of the golden periods of the Philharmonic, I'm sure.